Special advisor to the Legacy Governor on Housing, Barakat Odunuga Bakari, has made a case for gender equality and the promotion of women's inclusion in the real estate sector. While speaking at the female lawyers in real estate practice, a fellow rep webinar, Odunuga Bakari emphasized the importance of collaboration among stakeholders to create an inclusive and equitable real estate ecosystem for all. She said the state government is determined to achieve a society where women are not just participants but leaders in the real estate sector to help build a future where women thrive in the world of real estate and advocate for fair housing policies to promote female representation in leadership roles within the industry. Legal State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA, has taken a sensitization campaign to Ifakoijai LCDA communities to propagate the non-relenting message for fight against sexual and gender-based violence, SGBV, in the state. The Executive Secretary of the Agency, Titulola Vaiva Deni, said the state will constantly reinforce the fight against SGBV in Lagos through continual awareness and education of residents. Also speaking, a representative of the HOD of the Community Engagement Department in the agency, Adeto Odumbo, listed different forms of SGBV and, most importantly, the need for members of the community development associations to report cases of SGBV as stakeholders and leaders in their different communities, noting that the fight against the menace is a collective one. She stressed the need to report any SGBV grievances through the agency's toll free line 08000. 333333 for prompt response and activation of the referral pathway. The early month of Ramadan has been described as a time for worshipping Allah through fasting, listening to words of exaltation from the Holy Quran, and embodying the attributes of pity. These qualities and more were discussed at the Lagos Education District 419th Annual Ramadan Lecture with the theme responsibilities of stakeholders in character development, the Islamic perspective. The Tutor General, Permanent Secretary of Education District 4, Ulusha Goshinaike, while welcoming guests to the occasion, described the season as a period of purification and eliminating vices and negative behaviors. Stressing that Ramadan is a time to care for the less privileged in the society. The guest speaker at the event, a lecturer at the Department of Religion and Peace Studies, Lagos State University, Siddiq Okolawo, while delivering a lecture on the responsibilities of stakeholders in character development, highlighted parents as major stakeholders in shaping a child's character. Okolawo emphasized their role in providing core values like independence, self-awareness, trust, patriotism, and empathy through leading by example at home. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, says over $1.5 billion came into the Nigerian economy over the past few days, indicating that its monetary policy efforts are effective. CBN's acting director of Corporate Communications Department, Sidi Ali, said this while addressing pressmen. According to Ali, the Naira has also contributed and continued to record gains in the autonomous foreign exchange market as it traded at 1000 309 naira per dollar on Friday against 1,611 naira to a dollar in the second week of March 2024. Ali said CBN is committed to ensuring the stability of the market and the appropriate pricing of the naira against the other major currencies worldwide. On his part, the CBN governor, Olaemi Kadusa, reiterated that the Apex Bank had cleared all verified foreign exchange backlog, underscoring the fact that liquidity would improve in the foreign exchange market. And in some foreign news, United States President Joe Biden has condemned the continued detention of American journalist Evan Grishkovic in Russia. Wall Street Journal reporter Grishkovic was accused of spying, a charge the U.S. dismisses as fiction. According to Biden, journalism is not a crime and... Evan went to Russia to do his job as a reporter, risking his safety to shine the light of truth on Russia's brutal aggression against Ukraine. He said the U.S. condemns Russia's appalling attempts to use Americans as bargaining chiefs and promised that he would maintain hope for the reporter's freedom. The 32-year-old journalist and the Wall Street Journal have consistently denied allegations that he was spying for the U.S. when he was arrested on March 29, 2023, while on assignment in the Urals 
city of Yekaterinburg. And in sports news, Super Falcons goalkeeper Chema Canados is desperate to qualify for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games as Nigeria gears up for a crucial final qualifying game against South Africa. Both sides have forged an intense rivalry over the years and are seen as a toast of Africa following successes on the continent, but the South Africans have won recent battles. Leading Nigeria to the round of 16 with the captain Dan Band, Nadozi is eager to lead her side to the Olympics. The Nigerian goalkeeper was awarded the best women's goalkeeper in Africa at the CAF Awards in 2023. Now's our news at one. But just before we go, do not drive beyond specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X Family Twitter. Traffic Radio 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Watch us live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Sawulu administration renovated five libraries, Ekbe, Badagri, Tiosa, Amordofi and Ikorutu? Well, you can get more details on the Legacy Government website. For contacts with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast. It was compiled by Adiswa Ejoyoka. Thank you for listening. My name is Mike James. Good afternoon. Mm-hmm.